بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو دا فورتھ رول آف ورک از ریگارڈنگ ورڈس دیٹ اینڈ ود کثرت این اور تنوین آف کثرا سو لیٹس سی یو آر ریسائٹنگ دا ہولی قرآن اینڈ یو کم اکراس اے ورڈ دیٹ اینڈس ود دس سمبل وچ از کالڈ اے تنوین اے تنوین آف کثرا and you need to pause on it uh, because it's at the end of a verse or because it has a um, waqf sign next to it and you decide to waqf on it because you're out of breath you can't just say it the way it is written um here when you do waqf the correct way to waqf is to apply the rule of waqf and the rule for this sign is that it always changes into a sukoon تنوین آف کسرا ول چینج ان ٹو سکون سو انسٹیڈ آف سینگ مختو مین ویل سے مختو اوکے اف آئی ایم کنٹینیوئنگ اینڈ ریسائٹنگ ان کنٹینیویشن دین آئی کین سے مختو مین آئی کین سی ایٹ ایز اٹ از but let's say i'm out of breath and i need to take a pause i need to do waqf then i have to apply the right rule of waqf and um change the tanween into sukoon and say it that way makhtoon makhtoon so that was first rule for the day um when i say the word Uh, I would like to request all the students to repeat after me and practice at home. All right. So the second rule concerns the tanween of dhamma. Okay. We just did the tanween of kasra. Now we are doing tanween of dhamma, also known as dhamma ten. Okay. Again, the rule is same. When you come across a word that ends with a dhamma ten, and you decide to pause on it the tanween of the ma the dhamma ten will change into sukoon as you can see here okay so instead of saying quranun we do waqf and we do it the right way quran the the third rule of waqf concerns kasra shbaya or vertical kasra okay again if you come across a word that ends with a vertical kasra or kasra shbaya and you need to pause on it the kasra shbaya will change into sukoon so instead of saying rasulihi it will change as Rasooli, Rasooli. Make sure that the sound of ha is clear at the end. So you have to let all the air out. Rasooli. Okay. So the last rule of the day is for dhamma shvaya or inverted dhamma. again it's the same rule the dhamma shbaya or inverted dhamma will change into a sukoon so instead of saying yarahu we will say yarah yarah again make sure that the sound of ha is clear at the end okay so just um to summarize everything that we've just learned whenever we come across words that end with a kasra then a dhamma then a vertical kasra or an inverted dhamma and we need to pause on such words then the last letter whatever um the last letter whichever harakat 
it is it has out of these four it will always change into sukun okay so whatever sign it has whether it's tanween of kasra tanween of dhamma vertical kasra or inverted dhamma those four will always change into sukun and that is the right way to pause on such words um here are some verses from surah al baqara and because we are learning surah al baqara these days that's why we have picked out some examples from this surah so um as you can see here we learned today that whenever we have a word that ends with a dhammatan it will always change into sukun in the case of waqf okay in the case when we decide to pause on such word so this word aduvun this will change into aduv so the dhammatan will change into sukun but remember the tashdeed remains there okay so because it remains there we have to um, give it a double sound but at the same time we have to make sure that um we are doing it the right way okay and we also learned that if a word is ending with a kasra then or tanween of kasra it's the same rule it will change into sukun so instead of saying hinin we'll say hin okay so the kasra then will change into sukun okay 